Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I wanna talk about primitive data types. Now we're getting into the adult programming stuff, okay? Getting out of a little bit of the baby stuff. Even though it's not baby, but you know, let's just admit it. So let's talk about primitive data types. What are they? Well, um, okay, so let's start off with like basic ones first, okay? And I also wanna clarify something about variables for you guys. So you can't start a variable with a number, okay? So if you say five is equal to, I don't know, uh, hello, right? The string hello, you're gonna get an error. So you gotta start it, you gotta start your variable with a letter. Now you also can't start it with symbols. You can't say something like this is equal to hello, okay? You're gonna get an error. Uh, you can combine underscores with your variables. You can say hi, uh, hello, something like this, okay? And that would work for you. Okay, primitive data types, what are they? So if I have this thing in the green that you see, that is a string, all right? So, um, in this video, I think we can just keep it like this. Okay. So that's a string. Hello. Anything with the quotes around it, and you can also put double quotes if you want. This is a string data type. Okay. This terminology is very important to remember. Um, then you have your integers. Integers are anything that is like this. Okay. 4.3, 4. Point, uh, or I'm sorry, 4, 5, Two. Those are all your integers, obviously. Things that have decimal points in math are called decimal numbers. In Python, we call them floating numbers, okay? So you have floating numbers like 455.5, okay? These are your floating numbers. So that's another important thing to remember. So this was just a little primer on primitive data types, just so when I use this terminology, you guys don't get confused or like wanna throw things at your screen, right? You're like, I don't know what he's talking about, boom. Just throw your like mouse or your socks. Don't do that. Um, I'm telling you them <laughs> what they are here and feel free to look them up a little bit more so you can understand more about them. But this is some of the basic ones we're gonna be dealing with. And in the next videos, I'm gonna talk about things like, uh, what is a list? What is a dictionary? So we're gonna go over those as well, okay? Just to give you a little bit of foreshadowing into it for your for you advanced people there, you wanna learn more, right? You wanna overachieve. A list is basically something that holds multiple things at once. So for example, I can say banana, and apple and oranges like this, right? And at the start, I can say x is equal to, I hate x, I hate one letter variables and most Python people do as well because it's usually a sign of bad coding. Always try to make your names very relevant. Get into that habit right now. Promise yourself, cross your heart. I don't know, I don't care what you have to do, but work hard on variable naming, even if it slows you down sometimes, okay? So no X, no Y, only if you have to. It's gonna make your code really hard to read and when you're reasoning through your logic, you're gonna not understand what you were doing. So let's say, I don't know, fruits is a good variable name, fruits. And now if I call fruits, you see a list of that thing, okay. I was talking about primitive data types, but I got ahead of myself. I started talking about some data structures like a list and dictionaries. We'll cover all that later. Be patient. I'll see you guys in the next video.